Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Covering all conversation from dating to sports fetishes, this is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Yeah. Welcome America and the rest of the world. This is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. And I'm your host, Shabazz Davis. And you know what, peoples? We got, we got some really cool stuff to be talking about today. Everyone since the day they was born to the day they died, they got no idea what's going to happen to them. And a lot of people spend half their lives or all their lives trying to figure that out. Right? What's going to happen when you die? Why we hurt? What's the purpose of life? Well, I got two people in the studio today that might gonna give some answers to them serious, lifelong questions. And them is two people involved in one of the, of the three greatest religions on earth. And it ain't what you're thinking it is. It's the real great religions of earth. And that's a rock, a paper, and scissors. Them is them three great religions. And right away, let me get you my first guest. We got Messiah Mark over here and he is the founder and the messiah of scissorism welcome to the show messiah mark hi shabazz yeah audience that's a good looking man right there so tell us a little bit something about that because you know right now in the news you got all that talk about judaism and christianity and islam and all that stuff but you y'all peoples came from a different perspective when you started your religion scissorism give me a little bit better your background on that there mark uh well you know just growing up you uh you use scissors a lot in school and you're always taught to not run with them right slow yeah. down slow down your life when you have the scissors in your hands and i just uh developed that into a mantra where you just Go slow and notice what you're doing in your life. Don't run with your life. Don't run with the scissors. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Mm-hmm. So what you're saying is like as if you run with scissors in your hands, you, you're threatening to hurt yourself because life is going to run right by. You right. Just, you're oh. going to miss the everyday craft projects that are just happening in front of you. Oh, if You're not man. paying attention and you're running with objects that's beautiful i can see how that stems and works in all kinds of facets of life so how many people you got right now in your in your new founder religion uh well right now it's just me and my dad okay howard oh. shout out to howard what's up howard, howard okay yeah. okay so so but your goal you've got like an ex yeah audience it's two of the strongest peoples on earth that got this going right now so what's your expansion plans then well, we got a GeoCities website up. Uh, pretty excited about that. www.geocities.scissorism.com. Uh, right. right, right. Okay, mm-hmm. audience, make sure to go check that out if you're interested. It's, it's down right now. I'm having a little trouble with the uh, CSS. Uh, what, but if what's you want to just CSS? call me on my cell phone, I could, uh, I, could, I could help you out there. My number is 970 270 one eight three zero. So okay, okay. So so audience, call him on the cell phone. Yeah, if you got some questions about scissorism, yeah. Okay, okay, that's great, man. I think. Well, let's get on to our next guest, and he's he's running another religion that's got some amazing potential to be one of the three greatest on earth, and that is we got cleric Clarence from the Church of the Rock. Welcome to the show, cleric. Oh wow. Thanks, thanks a lot for having me. <sighs> so tell us a little bit about the, the rock, you know, the Church of the Rock. What's going down? Yeah, well, you know, rocks are solid, you know, they're, and uh, rocks make, make up most of the earth. So, well, you know, in, in, a, in the Church of the Rock, we, we say, you know, you got you to gotta be part of the earth because you, cause you're made out of rock, right. magnesium, iron, copper, zinc, you know, these are all elements you know in the earth but we're made out of them too so we're already part earth you know we talk so much we talk so much about what percentage of water we are right we need to talk about what percentage of rock we are oh zero zero percent it well it's there's a decimal point and then yes a couple zeros but it it's about point zero two seven three that's what that's our highest estimate. Hey, yo, Messiah Mark, I, I noticed some animosity over there when you, when you jumped in and piped in and we only got 0.00, 0 something about rocks. Is, is it because, is he always beating you on the punch and getting peoples, you know, because, you know, rock always beats scissors? Or, or what's the problem here? Yeah, there has been a historic uh, 
tension, religious tension between the scissors and the rocks. Uh, rocks are always beating on the scissors. Right. Which isn't really fair. We're, we're peaceful people. I mean, we just want to slow down and notice life. And these rocks just come and cover us, which I don't know. I find scissors. It- but the thing is that uh, scissors are about dividing and separating. That's, that's oh. not true. That's, that's well, what, what do scissors do? They they tear things apart. That's a good point. They, they there, cut things. Mark. All right, rocks. All right, they tumble, but they always land on their side. They're solid, is what you're saying. They got that's a good foundation. Right. I just that's... want to say that uh, scissors help. Why rocks hurt? Uh, oh, what do you I build? What do you what do we build? Uh, B- buildings you know what do we build buildings out of rocks okay different kinds of rocks yeah let's do some crafts with some rocks let's see how fun that is well All they're right. not craft objects unless you're into like lost and found kind of art mm. yeah but that's a good point though you know what i'm saying claire i mean you still gotta have crafts right without crafts you ain't got inventions without inventions maybe you can't build buildings because no one designed them things you know what i'm saying I, so, so but, them rocks don't mean nothing they mean they mean squat right but on the same token, you need a solid foundation to move forward with life, even if you're trying to slow that life down. Is that what you're trying to say, Mark? I think so. I'd also like to say that rocks are just like pieces of mountains that you're stealing. So, Oh, okay. That, so that's, that, that's your interpretation. That sounds like the interpretation of a scissorist. Oh, all right. Oh. We're going to use those words here. That's, okay. Well, that's, hold on, y'all fellas, before we turn this into a... A modern day Crips vs. Bloods here, right here in the TV studio. Let's just cut it right here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. Okay. What a bias. Well, I feel this feels real fair. I'll tell you right now. I am packing, if you were asking. So. Yeah, he is. He's right. The audience, check him out right there. I mean, he's making the cutest origami I've done ever seen right now. Man, how many scissors did you bring with you today? I can see at least a gross or more right there on stage. Yeah, you know, I always keep my side piece on me, and then I, I got a. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow, you got Jeez, Louis, this, see, this is what I mean. These scissorists are radical. They're, they're willing to go to any length Sorry to make their points. Man, you better, you better keep that in the wraps right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and tell Howard to stop coming by the warehouse. Yeah, okay, okay, Clarence. Um, so so you, how are you expanding now? You're talking about unity with Earth, right? And everybody is grounded to Earth. So what's your what's your expansion plans primarily? Yeah, well, uh, right now we're working on a ocean relocation program. Okay. So we are steadily scooping out the ocean and moving it inland so that there will be more earth and more rock exposed in the ocean oceanic areas. That is so destructive. That we want to. So people deserve to see what great mountains lie underneath these waters. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, the tallest mountain in the world is actually underwater. It ain't Mount Everest. Oh, really? Yes. Well, there that's the power of rock. Right, right. Okay. So, but then how is that going to, if I want to become, you know, a member of the Church of the Rock, what, what I got to do? Well, uh, it, well, we got to schedule an appointment. I still work uh, at the warehouse, and you tell your dad to stop coming by. He's, He's well, passionate. Well, his order is coming in. We're just having a hard time, you know, corresponding with, you know, the headquarters. Okay, so you working at a scissor distribution center for for the pops and and, and Mr. <sighs> Mark over here? I didn't want to make that public. Oh but yes, man, I, okay. I work at a scissor warehouse. That's an admirable job. So now I can see that this grounded little animosity might be a little deeper seated than just your religious perspectives. Well, you know, I just don't. Like I don't like to admit that the it's scissors that allow me to make a living oh, and to support man. myself and to have the time to start a Church of the Rock. Much much like Tupac and Biggie, we used to be collaborators and best friends, and it's it's gone sour. Oh man, okay, right. Audience can understand that East to West Coast beef or that Scissor Rock beef. Oh, I mean, man. paper didn't even. Didn't he make it up today? Here. Rest oh, in mean, peace, paper. Yeah, yeah. We had paper audience scheduled to be out here, but um, he couldn't make it today. So, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, audience, but sometimes you can't get anybody on the show. You trying? Yeah, to I didn't get. mean he was dead. I just meant I hope he rests and gets feeling better. Right, as in one piece of paper. Yeah, yeah. Not exactly. cut up into fifteen pieces or smashed down by a rock or nothing. Yeah. Okay. Well then, all right then. So if you're gonna give us like one thing that you want to leave America with about why your religion is the one to follow. I'll start with you, Mark. What is it? Don't run. 
walk into joy line. Walk. Okay. Clarence, come on, give it to me. Uh, the church, church of the Rock. We are built for tough. Built for tough. That's yeah, not original. Okay. That's, that's that, well, yeah. it's a working, it's a working slogan. Well, and there we go, America. Them is the talking points. Built for tough, and slow down and smell the coffee. Talking points with Shabazz Davis. Give the Windcast your questions on Facebook, Twitter, or the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break of what issues the Wind counselors can help you with during good, bad, ugly. Next on Mile High Sports Radio. 